Do you know what the biggest myth surrounding homeownership is? This one is so big that it precludes people from actually thinking that they can pursue homeownership. I hear it all the time. And so I want you to listen to this as if I am saying it to you in all caps. You do not need 20% down to buy a house. In fact, the average down payment for a first time buyer is just 6%. You actually only need three to three and a half percent, depending on if you're doing conventional or FHA financing, in order to be able to qualify to buy a home. Just 3%, that's it. So let's talk about what that looks like. Um, and yes, there are programs like down payment assistance programs or VA loans or other specialized things um, that we can get more into about on other videos. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to talk about the three to three and a half percent with conventional and FHA financing that you need to qualify for a mortgage on a home. So let's look at the Portland metro area, for example. Uh, the median sales price here is $525,000. That's in the city of Portland and general metro area. So I am a realtor licensed in Oregon and Washington. Um, you're going to see different prices depending on the neighborhoods. Vancouver, Beaverton, Lake Oswego all have their own price ranges. But the median sales price for Portland metro is $525,000. So a 3% down payment on $525,000 is just under $16,000. Let's take a look at if you're literally just trying to get your foot in the door. So the starter home in that same general area is going to be about $400,000 to $425,000. 3% down on a $400,000 house is $12,000, not $80,000. That's a really big difference. And I'm not saying that $12,000 is something that everyone has because they don't, but it's a heck of a lot easier to save 12,000 than to save 80. Okay, so we've done the math. You don't need $80,000 to buy a home. What do you really need? So in addition to that $12,000 down payment, you are gonna need to cover what are called closing costs. So closing costs come out of any home that you're mortgaging, um, they're typically about two to 5% of that sales price. So your closing costs are gonna include the fees made to the lender for your mortgage. They're gonna include your appraisal. They're gonna include your typically your first year of property insurance as well as homeowner's insurance. And they usually include your first month's mortgage payment. So in addition to your 3% down, you're gonna need an additional two to five percent. Now, sometimes we can negotiate with the sellers to get some or all of those costs covered as part of the sale. Um, so don't necessarily let that deter you, but it is something to be aware of. In addition to your closing costs, you're gonna need, you're gonna wanna get your home inspected. So depending on where you live, home inspections can cost anywhere from $600 to about $1,000. So you're gonna want that as well. And that's really a non-negotiable um, for our team. Uh, we want you to get your home inspected and know what you're buying and know what you're investing in. So there you have it. If you you're think you're getting close to that 3% down range and you're not quite sure where you stand or how to figure that out, the easiest thing to do is to get pre-approved for a mortgage. It's super easy, it's absolutely free, and it'll tell you definitively whether or not you're ready to take that next step. If you need any help uh, finding a lender to get pre-approved with, uh, or you have any other questions, please drop a comment down below. Love to chat and help you out.